What am I doing? Tell me not today. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Louis Vlogs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, uh, I'll see how much I can record because today we're going to be against the sunlight as always. I'm always doing these vlogs when I do them mechanically. I always do them late. So today is going to be the day that we're going to fix the BMW. The problem issue that we're going to fix today because I know we have a problem list is going to be this fan. And that dog is barking. Every, every time I vlog, my dudes, every time I vlog, there's always a dog barking. Always. Anyways. So today we're going to fix the fan. Like I said, all these wires, I don't know where they go exactly. But last night, me and my pals were trying to mess around with it. So, and we decided what we're going to do. And we decided that's the best option to do it. For a meantime, for this is going to be like a, going to be a temporary fix. Most of the time I say temporary, it's kind of like a forever fix. Until I can get back to it which is never anyways my dude so today i'm gonna show you guys what we're working with i'm gonna show you guys what's going on and then you guys and then i'm gonna show you guys what we found solution for and you're gonna be like oh makes sense kind of an easy way but we'll, hopefully it's an easy fix but you guys will see what we're gonna do so let me show you guys what we're doing here so this is a tester to think there's power going through you just put it somewhere negative or metal so it's just how we just put it on a bolt so now we're gonna check if it doesn't if it doesn't light up that means there's no power so it's touching no power now if i go over here which this red wire this red wire was connected to this box right here so this was getting cost in power so if you put it so we connected it how it is and the light turns on. So that means that we have constant power going through here. This is connected. So these two are connected. And then this wire has constant power. That's the problem we're talking about. So if you guys can know the car is off. So you guys can know I have the key. So the battery should be off. But for some reason it's getting constant power. Constant power. So what they did was that we figured out. is why they made this wire. That's why this wire came attached. That's where they cut it from the brown wire connected to this control and they cut it because it was getting constant power. So when I put these together the fan should, should have turned on. So what they did is do a substitution and they cut that off. So right now it's not working because we cut off the main power, the main source to make this wire hot. So what we did was, well what we're gonna do is that over here we have, what do you call this? Fuse box? Um, wire box? <laughs> Congestion box because we have a fuse box inside as well the car so it's like another one So what we did was we checked tester We checked each and every one of these to figure out if there was power running constantly So and we did we found a couple that had power with with the car off the battery off and we found Others that when you turn on the battery then they get power and that's what we want We want the power when the car turns on so therefore the fan will turn on when the car turns on like how every car should be and then they assemble when they built so when you turn on the truck the fan turns on when you turn on the envoy the fan turns on so with this beamer when i was talking about the fan doesn't turn on on its own i have to come and do it manually that's what we didn't like so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a parallel circuit we're gonna get power from this wire and we're gonna make a switch and the switch is going to be somewhere inside the car. Like I said, temporary fix. So when that switch happens, so when I flip the switch, I have power running and the fan will be on. Turn off the fan from the switch, power will be off. So every time I turn on the car, I turn on the car and the fan should be off until I flip the switch and the fan should be on. Instead of me coming over here, opening the hood, putting this wire connecting it like this connecting it like this putting this wire connecting it like this every single time to have the fan on and this wire stays like this the whole time while i'm driving like it stays naked which is bad let me show you guys so you guys talking about it, you guys can understand more because i think you guys are losing me we connected it right now so like i said this wire the red one is hot it has power so this wire is connected to this box so this is should be hot as well so what they did was this brown was connected to brown. So constantly the fan was on, on, and on, on. So when I get the naked wire, put it next together, the fan stays on. The car is off, but the fan stays on. So that's what we're going to fix. Instead of doing this hand by hand, opening up the hood and all that, we're just going to run two wires and we're going to make a switch inside the car. And hopefully that... Uh, solve the problem one option is the switch which we're gonna try to do from here 
And the other option is that if we're lucky, we can find a wire connected straight to the battery. When I, so when I flip the key on, the car will turn on and the fan will turn on like normal is supposed to do. So we have two options here, switch or doing it with a key thingy. And we're gonna figure out which one's easier, which one we can do, which one we can find it. So we're, we're gonna figure out how much vlog and show you guys the whole process of this. So you guys can see that the battery is on cause I have the, the key on. And here we're trying to figure out when the key's on, we have power because the light lights up that we have power going through. Turn off the key. Keys off. The key's off. Give it, give it a minute. So the key is off. No power. Flip the key on. With power. That's what we want. So we want power. So right now, if we have this connected to the fan, right now the fan should be running. Why? Because that's how we're going to do it. So when you guys saw with, with the tester, this is the one who had power on when the key was on, when the battery was on. So now what we did was we spliced it. So we got it naked right here. So now we're going to merge them together. And hopefully this will work. So we're going to skip the switch problem, right? Yeah. So we're not going to do the switch. We're going to try this one first. So this is, is so when the battery is on, that should have this wire. This, all this should have wire power. And that should make the fan turn on. So we're going to try that out right now. This is what I hate. is picking up someone else's project, picking up someone else's mess, and starting off where they left off. Hate it. So I flipped the key. So now we got power. So now this wire should have power. So now we should test it. Do it. No. Uh, that's <laughs> weird. If this one over here has power, the light's on, but we merged them. But for some reason, it doesn't want to turn on the fan over there. Uh, let me brainstorm my dudes and I'll get back to you guys. There is no fan. We took the fan out. We got the fan right here and, we're, and we wanted to see more of it. To get a better view of it, of what's going it. on. Because okay. this shouldn't have cost some power. That's the whole point we're trying to fix this. Keep you guys updated. What we did really quick to test out, see if the fan can work yeah. with, with, without anything. We spliced it like that. The same thing what we did over there, but over here. But this time we're getting positive and negative. Hold it hard. Hold it hard. And wash my fingers. Hold it hard and wash my fingers. Don't do, don't do this, guys. We're just trying to figure out if it'll work. All right, so we're gonna get positive, negatives right there. Hopefully this will turn on the fan. That's all I need is just power and the fan turns on, which, which is fine. So now with these two wires, we're gonna do it with the key test now. Remember when we had power with that when the key was on? Now we're gonna do that. Don't recommend doing this, but we're just trying to figure out a way this is like all bad like i said picking up someone else's mess where they left off or someone else's um i don't know work it's kind of it's kind of bad and confusing and hard and ah, it's frustrating so let's try this out so we got the battery in you guys can hear that noise humming noise don't know why it does that either so negative and positive this should turn on again put on the wire that you that you spliced so it's not working with that wire. Okay, so, no. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, okay. This machine measures how many volts there is, how many power it is. So here we go. 12, yeah, oh, yeah 12, six. 12 volts, in other words. So they do have enough volts going in. Let's see how many volts there is from the battery, straight from the battery. How much is that? 1209. 1209. And over here was 1206. Well, I think it's a two amp, that's what you call them, right? Two, I'm not even sure. But it's only two difference. This fan should be working. 
voltage there we go voltage cut the wires more because that was a problem make sure you have contact with the wires and when we test it which i did off camera with the same thing that we did from here when i had it up like this you guys saw it did turn on so we're all gonna do that that's the solution for right now so we're just gonna put these wires we're gonna tie them up here and then we're gonna put them around somewhere make it look pretty in a way like i said i have wires everywhere don't know where they go and we taped um, each and every wire like all this here. This was just we did last night But I didn't record vlog that because we were figuring out a solution how to do that But let me figure it out. So we taped all the live wires That's what we used this test to figure out what was live and what was dead or hot or positive or negative as you want to call it So let's I'm gonna set it up and hopefully it works and I'll show you guys when we're done So now we did we put these two with these two wires zip tied them So now we got these two and the way that we did it was the same the same principle when the key's on, they will have power. So one will be connected to this wire and the other one will be, of course, to ground, which is negative. And then the fan will turn on when the battery is on. And when I turn on the car, then the fan should still be running on until I turn off the car and it'll be completely dead how a normal car is supposed to be. So that's one temporary fix down on the BMW. That's all in theory on top of my head. So hopefully that is the, uh, just a little solution for right now. So you guys can see, oh, where's my flashlight? My pocket, of course. Oh, strobe light, party, party. So you guys can see we did that ourselves. Can you see that orange stuff? So we put the wires together. It's not touching anything in the bottom, you guys are wondering, which is like the, the belt, the timing belt, the power steering, all that good stuff. It's not touching it. So we have these wires and we're gonna test it out right now. So the battery's on, the car, the car, the key, the key's in, so the battery's on, so we're gonna see. Oh, I still gotta put the, the screw in. Yeah, yeah, see? Hold it right there, yeah, hold it right there. Okay. Fan is on! So, this is what we fixed. This isn't there, we're not gonna use that anymore. You guys can see what we did, we run the wires. So it doesn't touch. It looks like it touches, but it doesn't touch. We did that, and you guys can follow the wire, which is just zip tied all the way around inside this box. And we have the wires all wrapped up, and we're gonna just gonna put that, hide it, Everything. make it look neat. Like I said, a lot of wires everywhere that we do not know where they go, like all these. And then we got this um, bungee rope right here holding the air filter like it's like a big mess and then if you guys can see these wires here these are not professionally done wires so this is probably like a temporary fix uh what can i put this right there let me go turn on the car and the fan should turn on the fan should turn on right now come out here you guys can hear it already. The fan is on. Was it a big issue for me to do this every time open the hood and do that? Uh, kind of was in a way. Doing it manually and such and then taking it off. Well now with this it's more convenient just twist it and come out. So that's one thing off the list of the BMW that we have here. The next thing I have the e-brake. The next thing I have is these headlights. You can't see nothing with these headlights. So basically that's it my dudes for this fix. Temporary fix was a pretty good fix. Um, subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram at Louis Vlogs. Like for the page at Louis Vlogs. And I'll see you guys next one. So peace out. Let's see if I can turn it on. Woo!